dead on right there. <laughs> now, the reason why they are doing it because they got free territory on them that they can do what they want to do with them. You, they say you can come in and you can do anything, just don't mess with the gods of the universe. So when they come in, they be trying to help you, just be scared and stuff. They be trying to help you. Say, just don't mess with the gods of the universe. So they got free reign on, and gods can could be the dark haired people. Because, you know, you got some, you got the mutant they talking about. The other people are offspring of us. But you got that mutant that don't have the soul, they say. You got you can do what you want to do with them. But the other people of God, that's prohibited by interplanetary law. Mm -hmm. They get in trouble with that. So now, since since Alistair Crawley died, because he failed to get them in the melanin in them, he died in 1947, you started having heavy UFO things in 1947, and then in 1950, with Eisenhower met the aliens on the Air Force Base and the whole nine yards. But the reason why is because now they got this whole experimentation and they got a free reign, they can mess with these people. So all they tell you about these awful Orions and stuff, don't fall for the hype. They good friends of us because they ain't killing us. They killing them. They killing our enemy. Anybody killing our enemy is my pal. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what they do. They ain't killing us. I said, wait a minute, hold on, that's right. My brother told me, I was talking about the Orions and how they come. My brother said, wait a minute, you better, you better quit talking about this. I see why he said they ain't killing us. They're killing them. I am mean, not give them what happened to him in the series. They're killing them. We're talking about them. They're good friends of me. Okay then. Now, they got free reign to do what they want to them. So now they do experimentation. They give them, they give, make them pregnant. They, they give them implants. They give them all kinds of things. And then they got a thing where as they take the body and wear the body like a space suit. They strip the soul, because they ain't got nothing but a little bit of energy, yep. so they strip that soul. And they get in the body and wear like a space suit. And they go amongst the white people monitoring them, oh yeah, we're gonna take them out this way, take them out that way, and all those stuff. And we're gonna genetically implant, we're gonna get some stuff out of their body that we can use on our other planet. They strip that, because that's, that's um, raw material, they can use that material, that, that matter stuff. So they can take the cells out and go back, so they got, so they're just taking and stripping all that. So it's just like anything else. It's obsolete, they break it down, and they take the guts out. Take it back to the universe. That's what's happening to the white people. So they come in and they strip them all down, give them all kinds of genetic testing, and they test them and all this stuff. Then they got one where they come in and get them. Wear the body like a space suit. Walk around and monitor how they're going to do things. So now, when something happens, and the body give out or something, because the physical thing will burn out, and the body gives out, and they end up in the hospital room, with the doctors, this, that, that alien got the exit. So he throw out that gas, and he gets on up. That's what happened to the whole thing with these crackers. That That's what happened with that cracker in the actual thing. Now, I know it's a lot. You want to take the question and answers first? Uh, huh? Well, no, I'm going to go into some things right now so we can, we can do some things. So we want to get into the stuff and stuff. Number one, the brother said about time travel. Well, you know he invented time travel with the Philadelphia experiment. Did you get the Montauk, bro? You get the Montauk um, um, project too? Montauk too? Did you ever get the Montauk project? The Philadelphia experiment. I got a video on it. Yeah, okay. Now, the Philadelphia experiment was done in 1943. Where they, you can get the books, the, the movie, they got the movie on it, where they took the, the ship, and transported the ship from 1943 to 1983. You know, they did the time travel thing, but the two sailors on the inside was the only one surviving, because the other ones, they asked nobody to burn up, and they started, they caught on fire. Yeah, you know you can catch on fire if you do the wrong thing. They got people that explode. Mm -hmm. Your astral fire, your body just burn up. That can happen to you. Mm -hmm. So now, they, um, they, the people on the ship was all melted in the ship, but the two other ones, they, they got, they, they went in the 1993. One brother jumped, it was, it was white people, it was his brother. The one guy, his brother, jumped over the ship and it caused a time tear in space, a rip in space that they can't repair. Mm -hmm. But one person actually went in the 1983, and people he saw then was old people. And he said, we've been waiting on you in the whole nine yards and all this stuff. So they actually had that. Then they invented this chair on Montauk Point, Long Island. So the beast got some stuff now. 
<laughs> they invented this chair where they can transport you back. Now the new book, Montauk Revisited, the reason why Alistair Crawley in here was famous, Alistair Crawley started doing a lot of stuff with the Illuminati after he received the book of the law. He started doing a lot of stuff with them. And all. But then again, they said that they, the people from Syria said, if we want you to experiment and get to a high level, you so backwards, we want to we want to even the odds when we kids. So even so even the people from Syria gave them some technology. And then Orion gave them his stealth bomb in the whole nine yards. Mm. To give them up because they 90,000 years more advanced than we are. Or than they are. I ain't got nothing to do with that. I'm 90,000 years more advanced. Than we down here. You see, who is able to make war with the beast? We are. No one can make um, war with the beast on the physical level. Because he's the master of that. He's the devil. But how do you make war with the devil? You become God. And when you become God, you got to fight for us too. And your fighting force is 90,000 years to 100,000 years more advanced than his. You see, this is the kind of power we got. So they know now that the real war in space, the real war, the, the, the World War III won't be fought on the ground. Because they got that cover. They know it's coming from outer space. That's why they let them go all the black people out of the army. And they got cutbacks in every part of the military except the space age program. That's why they took the money from the the, the uh, SNL loan a scandal and transferred it overnight into the, the, the space age program. Because they're trying to do it and they got their little space little UFOs that can't do much in, in, in Alabama and also in Arizona. Now Montauk, but this they come up, they got this particular chair. They take a guy and send him back in the time of Jesus with a 38 and say shoot him. And they went up to him and pumped the gun in him, but you know, if you got your crime shop and I open the bullet, won't keep him go right through. Mm -hmm. So they, he came back and said, I couldn't kill it, man. I couldn't kill it. <laughs> so they said, um, they sent him on a Mars mission, this captain. And we got him on, on they sent him on a mission to Mars, excuse me. When he got him on Mars, Jesus was there for him, and Jesus took his wounds and put it into him, and some blood into him and made him human. He came back down, he said, he couldn't kill him. And stuff like that is going on in the Montauk too. But they created this particular space travel. You can get the, the actual movie 1984 with Michael Paray is actually talking about the particular Philadelphia experiment where the white boy with Nikola Tesla and all of them created um created uh the, the actual time door when they went through in time travel. So that's a reality, you know. And they do they can do it now. They're working on that in Montauk Point, Long Island. Yeah. Now, this is some stuff on me. Say, everyone knows that Pluto, in someone's chart, can certainly, we certainly do not dispute this fact of life. However, we are connected with those who have it in them, and it must be examined the most violent form. And this was a guy, this was a white guy, Michael Bell II. Out of, uh, he's in Chicago now, I think he's out of, out of what's his name? It says that, um, they get ready to go in and, and kill the people. This is a white boy. He said he wasn't white. That's going back to the thing he said. He said he was a black man on another life. They got a guy named Roy that is white. He said he was black, but they're not what they not, they're not white people. They one of them 20% that's got the actual melon. Now remember now, they're gonna be, if you talk about Ambala Muhammad says that that some of the white people are gonna help us in this thing. Some of the white people, one thing about the white man, he's an opportunist. He see he going down the tube, he gonna jump from side. So you're gonna have, they say a few of them will be, well if you talk about a few of them, they say gonna be three million of them gonna turn against their people. They're gonna help us, three million of them. And they're gonna be safe. Now they say that's a lot, but that's not a lot when you can be all the white people in the world. Three million is black. You see, they be saved for a thousand years, but eventually they would have to get killed. Now, they, so, it's going to be three million of them. So now this guy, Michael Bell, too, he said he's not white. He said he comes from Africa. So he is incarnated into a body to do a certain work. Just as Alice Crowley said that he was, he, he traced this thing back. He was incarnated into a body. Some white people are not white. They're 20% black. You see, Gerald Massey now, we know this was a part, hooked up with the great white brother, who also, he was a black man. That's why he wrote ancient Egypt, a lot of the world, and said the white man was on you. You see. So this guy is saying that he, he's, he's going to have to kill them. He says, he says that it must just astronomic connection be satisfied. 
The energies and the conditions, conditions must be satisfied. He's talking about the energy. He said, but rather the mute with Pluto or pure mute, talking to the white man, change the earth, change is a total change from the early hominid stage. He's talking about the total change from what you were. He's talking about the white people, pure mute, total change from what you are, okay? These mutants must be locked down into a system of yucca, which is a part, and Zothrian metaphysiology, there's a part of the Orion part that's locked in the series called the Zothrian Empire. Metaphysiology, they must connect their souls with the powers of yuga and undergoing a psychic mutation. The Yugothian physiologically, physical, 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 chronologically, he got these big, some words to make up at this stage. <laughs> He was talking, he make up his own words. <laughs> he says that, and the psychic reincarnation, they must be rebuilt and directed towards the role in a group soul. So they don't have no souls. They got to be rebuilt and put in a soul. In a you got in um, mutation field. Then they can safely talk about membership of the hierarchy in the chaos sphere whereby the most demonic and violent energies are released and transformed of this planet. By the means of the rituals and initiations of the systems, they can come into understanding the people of the UFOs. But, they say that they must, this is the key, they say that then, now this is the key, they say that they must, they then after they get their souls, they can join the great white brotherhood of the black right in the chaos sphere. <clears throat> Show you something on the word chaos. Referring to chaos melody, that primordial substance that, that, that destroys the evil and abnormal lower material matter. Anyone being a pure melody angel and a current, both Awa. Heru Rock Rocks equates to the number 418, which is the number of the great work, which is melody. Now, this is the key. 666 in the mark of the beast means the devil on the physical realm, but 666 in the mark of the beast also means melody. <coughs> it's the devil to them. Awas and Melchizedek is called a third of soul fatic hermetic Lucifer. The devil or the God that you, the devil that you have been cursing was your God. Was your God. And you were the fallen ones of that God because that devil is in the sphere of Sirius. And his name, that Lucifer, means light bringer. Their God is your devil. That's why Jesus Christ you got there. You done caught hell on that, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> your God, which means that your God is their devil. And the melanin is the stuff that can kill them because the melanin is the triple darkness of space, which is in the black holes in space. And this black substance, now they just said in the New York Times that this universe is being pulled off of course into black substance. <laughs> that black substance is none other than melanin and it neutralizes anything of an abnormal field. In an abnormal field. That means the black stuff in space, it holds the star clusters together in the same stuff that's in you. You thought it was this space, it's not space. Get the book Marcia Bartuski called Through a Universe Darkly. It's an astronomy book where they talk about this black substance, ancient tales of cosmic ether, which is talking about melody. This is the key with this particular melody. Mar Marcia Bartuski Through a Universe Darkly is the name of the book. Now, this particular chaos that they're talking about is hell. It's called the Amenta. The Amenta is the black dot. The hell that they talk about Amenta is also under the ground, which is your heaven. The Amenta that's in your head is the black dot. And when you go through the Amenta, you go into Christhood. When they go through the Amenta because they got a calcified pineal gland, they meet the devil. That's a mute. That's your God. As it was so below, what's up there is also in you. Lucifer means light bringer. That particular devil is called Amos, Metatron, Melchizedek, 
God, all our all of that, that's the white man's stuff. And he tells you that in his metaphysics. You see, and fish the arm, the leg, the leg, the head is Allah. Right? right? Then that means that you the devil. You the devil. You his devil. Which makes you God. Because become God, you can kill that devil. You understand how that goes? Everybody on it? Yeah. Alright, now let's wrap this thing up and go show you some things right now. I'm going to show you some things right now on this particular part about the devil. We can wrap this thing up. Number one, for all you Christians, it tells you that Jesus took his followers and transported them into immediate space. And before them, in the wind, behold, ships manned by fantastic beings. In the ships, they can even distinguish the dangerous, dangerous, the, the dangerous, dangerous, excuse me, whose functions that they have stolen. What they mean by that is they talk about they can distinguish the delta dangerous. Now this is for papyrus, so they're giving things and also too. So I, I can't read y'all no. <laughs> I'm trying to get this stuff so I can say it to you all so you can understand. Now, that's in a brief papyrus that's actually talking about Jesus putting his, opening up the heavens and putting his people in this particular mothership. Now, the human being can but only be reborn again and led back into the primal material, which is the black substance, which is melanin, which everything is all about. Out of this, he comes forth according to the astral nature. Before the Son of Man can be exalted, he must be humbled. That's why they say the people in, in, in Africa, the ones with our original habitat, the most humble people. That's that melody. That's why right now you love the white man to death. You just start to hate, you hate yourself. But even though all the hell he gave you, you never turned against him while you were in the hills of North America. That lets you know that you still are a human people. Because you should have been killed. Him. But you can even love your enemy. But damn sure we kill each other though. You know. I'll tell you some things you need to do in a few minutes. Now, before a man can be exalted, he must be humble. Before he can ascend to heaven, he must walk three days through hell. This condition is the alchemy of blackness. Hell. Whose central darkness is late and extends through three days and nights. Even to the total darkness for 40 days. Even Jesus remained 40 days in his resurrection on earth before he ascended into heaven. Therefore, you must go through the gates of darkness before you can attain to the paradise of white, the great white brotherhood, the crown chakra, which you gotta have melanin to have. Okay? Now, this is the key on this particular melanin. It is called the great works, which is an alchemical substance that turns base metal into gold and turns man woman, baby, child, beast, and animal into one. What it means is this, and this is the key breakdown to Titan of Muhammad, Sister Titan of Muhammad, number 19, which is the number of God, the one and the nine. The number 19 represents the, the space that sits in the middle of the earth, which is Allah on both horizons, which is Heru on both horizons. That particular space the animals in the world can do such things. Some can transform themselves, some can live up under the water, some can live in the sky, some can do all kinds of things. But since you were exalted over them, you're supposed to do everything they do and more. That's called animal activism and the space that sits there in the middle of the earth, which is the crown and conquering line of Judah, which is the goddess segment, which is hair rule harvest on the horizon, uh, which is all out on the horizon is broken down into number 19 saying when you get to your God, you can do all of that. You can disappear, you can get shot, they can't do nothing to you, all of that. Anything that you can imagine in the universe, you can do. And this is the mission of the number 19 of the Sphinx, which is called animal activism. This is the key thing to the number 19, which is all out on the horizon, <coughs> which is, which is head root on the horizon. 
which is the crown and conquering line of Judah, and which was in the beginning, shall be in the end, and you are those people. The great work is people who attain a spiritual level of consciousness, and it also means in the actual occult mystery, people who are born with it. The great work is melanin. The primal material. Okay? So now this is the stuff that's going on. Now, the idea of a race of lionoid people, talking about the snakes, exalted from the serious complex in some time frame in a deeper implications of resonant genes when the genes have inherited by their Syrian forebearers. They mean that you inherited the genes of the people on the planet Sirius, who is God, who were responsible for the growth and the development of this solar system in which we live. It, on Earth manifests the personal groups of racial, racial genetic codes. But for those who carry the Syrian gene, the black dot, the 10, 12 double helical structures of the DNA, which you manifest it, the melanin, the cat lining crystal gene are the strongest. That's you. That's who they're talking about. You see. Ramesses said himself, I believe myself to be born out of segment. Segment being the doggone space in the middle of the earth. And the people that are born out of that are the gods of the universe. Because there's a sphinx on the moon, there's a sphinx on Mars. There's a sphinx on every planet that fit directly in the same center of the earth as us. Get Richard Holden's book, Monuments on Mars. And this is talking about the God that was and is. And that's talking about you, the God of the universe, which is Allah, because you are the microcosm of the macrocosm. Now, white people mind saying they come from Lyra. Which is like the Lyra is a form, is a planet of Heru. And the people that are born out of the eye of Heru, he defends their soul. And the people that are born out of the eye of Heru, the eye of Red Rock, or the eye of Set, are black people because you possess that eye of Heru in your third eye complex called melody. Check? Check. Now, so they lie. But in their lying, they're trying to tell the truth. They say, what's they say, oh, we people. Okay, they said, we from Lyra. Now, hell, you ain't learn how to live on Earth, and how you gonna go out some other place to try to get <laughs> And who would want you? You can't even live on peace with nobody on Earth. If we came a race in the country, in the world, and say that they live in peace with the white man, in the history of the world, you can't even live on the Earth with other people, and you say you you gonna get offended, and they gonna pick you up, take you back to life. <laughs> They picking you up all right. They stripping you all for your jeans. Put your pants on you. Go see a woman fire in the sky. Oh, yeah. Wasn't no picnic when that, when that rapper got on that ship. That's and right. seen them white people with holes all in their body. Mm -hmm. And he cried like a baby. Mm -hmm. They put that stuff on him. And they told me it was a true movie that happened in the early 70s. Mm -hmm. So ain't no picnic for them. They gonna go through hell. They say so. Um, whatever they say. We had gyms on this planet first, but the Syrians got here first. See the lions. See, whatever happened to the Syrians who, who group who interfered with the lions? See, they done picked the planet out there that they don't belong to, they're gonna lie. <laughs> but they tell the truth. They say by interfering with the lions, they became intergenetically tied to Earth. So they say the Syrians are intergenetically tied to Earth, which is us. They have always had many tricks up their sleeve. <laughs> And in this case, they got the last laugh. They say in this case, the Syrian people, or the people from Syria, got the last laugh. When working with the Lyran groups doing the genetic program, they inserted a latent DNA code. This code within human cells, this code is triggered by the acceleration of the vibration, of, of, of the, the acceleration of the vibration that occurs when civilization be, begins to evolve spiritually. The Earth accelerates towards a self-awareness fourth dimensional density, which is presently occurring right now. This code and trigger is activated. Once activated, the human race unwinds its limited division like a coil. That's the Kundalini rising up, like mm -hmm. a snake. Until all things become visible, it is their way of allowing them to eat from the tree of life in DNA strands. 
they say that this particular code that the actual Syrians put in you and it is triggered when the earth accelerates to the vibratory rate, which we know now that Syrians A and Syrians B conjuncted the day, the 60 year Sydney ceremony, the last time they had it was 60 years ago, and now you are waking up in this particular day right now. This stuff is over now. Let's go and wind some things up. I'm going to wind some things up, and I'm going to give you some things on the messenger, Elijah Muhammad. Because she didn't believe in him. Behold, Elijah coming. The Jews said, suppose that Elijah enters the chamber of one is coming to the original Hebrews, which are the original children of rock, but that go all the way back to Egypt and Lemoy. So don't just take it as this one particular group of people. Elijah enters the chamber among the child, the chamber among the child, to seat left vacant for him in the double chair. That means that he, in the book, people would have seen that they say Elijah incarnates to a people when they're at their lowest point in civilization. And he reincarnated over and over and over again. So that Elijah in the Bible was the same one that was here on earth. You see what I'm saying? Now, it says the seat of Elijah. Elijah in the center of a large chamber of the Hebrew traditions is identified with who he who comes with the number eight. That is the bow tie that he wore around him to symbolize infinity and the number eight. Mm -hmm. It appears likewise to indicate that he is from the God taught of Tahuti. Elijah was a form of Tahuti, and Tahuti means messenger. Tahuti drives the ship of Ra. Elijah was the pilot of the ship of Allah, which he told you that there was this ship. And the white boy bears witness to it in his book, Neil Wilbur's is the Numenoid, where he said that they came and visited the MIB who are UFO scientists came and visited Malcolm X's last year in prison in 1950. You see. So that bears witness that they knew of this mothership that they took out of his briefcase in what, 1944? And the honorable life behind him went to jail for opposing the draft. Okay. Eight appears likewise to indicate that he is the God taught, which is the Hootie, or Sut Anubis. Sut is the announcer of the goddess of the seven stars in one come annually. Tot, who represents the messenger, the voice of the Lobos and the seven gods, the manifest of the Paloma, and the com completer of Haba, he comes, he, he that cometh. The Haba, he that cometh. Elijah cometh as the messenger to announce the prophecy of the Habad. Tot supersedes set a soot that that bow a bar in Egypt. Elijah portrays the great appointment of Baal in Egypt. They see he opens the way. When you see the God Andrew Tahuti as the messenger, or you see the God Anubis, they open the way. That's the opening of the way. So this is the thing from Elijah that also came also too. It says that the Quran records says that the angel Gabriel came from the constellation of the dog star and Muhammad was reputed to have been taken to the southern heaven Saturn by Gabriel flying in a white sea spaceship with 600 wings about 597 AD. The Lord of Venus that helped Teach Earth man Mercury together with mankind is indigenous to the Sirius constellation Canis Major, where Isis in the eleventh uh, that was that was Isis in the eleventh even king, whatever that means. Isis and Osiris were space beings from the planet Canis Major, which is Sirius. Did Isis, Isis bring wheat or offset bring wheat and corn from Canis Major constellation? And Earth origin of wheat is not has not been discovered. Now this is some stuff from other documents on Sirius. It's coming down the tube. Um, it's coming down the tube. Now I've got one other thing that i got to do because it's talking about you and that is this. It says in the Holy Quran, it says in the Holy Quran that, that, um, well I'll, I'll just, we'll, we'll be taking question and answer. We go to this last part. It says that he is the Lord of Sirius. And he is the Lord of the second creation. That's talking about the second 26,000 year period. The first creation went down 
when Atlantis and Amoy and the earth separated. The second creation is the one we got going on now. It said the second creation, and he enriches and causes to possess, and he is the Lord of Sirius. This is another translation from another part of the Quran. And he destroyed ancient Atlantis, which is also Atlantis. And now we know that the Noah's, that the, that the flood that Noah was talking about was when Atlantis went down. That's the flood. Mm -hmm. Okay. It said, however, the teachers of Muhammad set down the Quran and later Christian texts, and before is much nearer to our time. It represents an addendum to the prophet of the Jesus of Nazareth. It says it is seriously laden with terrible warnings of the final destruction of the star series. Now, it says it is an addendum or an appendage. This is what they're saying, the reason why you have been fighting. You're supposed to take the Book of the Dead, the Holy Quran, the Bible of the Jesus, and you should put the Bible and put them all together and read them as one book. You take the Holy Quran and the Bible and put them together. The Holy Quran is the second appendage to the Bible. It is the second one to the Bible and you read them as a book. That's why you've been arguing. And take the Book of the Dead and put that on there too. Because all of it is one. Okay, you got that? All right. The people of Talmud, Talmud left before the survival and before them, the people of Noah, who were the most, etc. All right. The italics of other includes that emphasize the esoteric astronomical significance of the text of the theme under the heading Yixin of the Quran says, the sun is given to overtake the moon. Thus, the night overtakes the day, but each of its own sphere of hope journey on. It is also a sign that there the, in the latent full arc and we drawn them like vessels and we embark, and we please, and we, we please, we drown them. Now they're talking about this ark, and they're talking about this ark, and this Noah's ark was not no ship, no wooden ship, they right. put every animal on the world in two. It was some people that was living in Atlantis, and they got the hell up out of Atlantis in a spaceship which was vessels, okay? And that's how they saved themselves and went to the other parts of the earth, some of those people, okay? Some say they started Kemet, I say Kemet was already there because we got the Sphinx to with us for that. And it was actually one of the capitals. Though the Quran has great re repudiation of the flood theme and many references of destruction of stone-charged winds, yet it refers to the future ark are art, whether the art of the Noah and the Lose, they're saying it's art, flying arts, which is spaceships other than some old boat, you know, no wooden boat and stuff, and the white man going to some mountain trying to find them in search of Noah's ark and all. No, the destruction, no. No, the association with the Lord of Sirius in the Surah of the Star can only be Sirius itself in pre dynastic time. In, in, in pre-dynastic Egyptian time, he is him who is named Osiris. Take note, the royal we, Osa, which is Osiris, Osiris, which is Isis, and Heru, which is Horus. Perhaps an entire Osirian race, God-like men, brother, gods, immensely powerful, influential, yet omnipotent. Universal created beings, perhaps monitors and directors of a terrestrial mankind. Osiris said himself, as we choose the courage and choice to size them up, thus within the high levels of prophecy, the holy writ remains the hope based upon the astronomical realities. They just told you that this whole thing with this Lord of Sirius is an entire Osirian race. They said an entire Osirian race and a remnant of an entire Osirian race. Osiris means Lord of the perfect black. Mm -hmm. Let's rephrase that. Let's take out Osiris or Osar and just say the word Lord of the perfect black. Then you say 
Lord of the perfect black, an entire remnant of Lord of the perfect black race. That's talking about you. They say a remnant, they talk about that which is left over. They're not talking about that and what's up is up in the sky. A remnant means what is left over. That's you. But right here it says that the hope of the planet is based upon astronomical realities. They're talking about you of being an extraterrestrial couple. That's what these people are talking about. And this is the white man talking this stuff. That's what time it is. One last point I'm going to do, if I can find the thing, is talking about uh, boom, 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 boom. Yeah. This woman, the book is called uh, Conversation with Nostradamus. I forgot the woman's name. It's three books. I think it's in book two or three. I, dang, I don't know why, you know, but I think could cut. could bring all these books this time. She said that she's having some things going on in the future. And she said that they, she said that the world is already destroyed and these people are arranging this trip. And they say they got one little white girl that was saved over and she's going there with her husband. They're serious. And she said, and they said, how did these people look? They say they had, they, they had these contacts with extraterrestrials. And it says, on board, who's piloting the ships? Will you tell that they were not from this planet? They look humanoid. They wear similar clothes. Now she's talking about the people on Sirius. They are bald and have protruding eyes. Their ears are closer to the head inside, inside their head. They have a spiral structure on their ear similar to a cranial or combined nucleus cell. Well, their noses and nostrils are flat. You know who that is. <laughs> a bit flatter. Their nose, they are different and, and different, they are different looking, no, let's put it this way, they are different, they, excuse me, other than the difference, they look very much like humans, excuse me, I've been going so fast in the spirit, so I have to slow myself down and read. These aliens are large people, are small people, this is the guy asking are they large people or small people, they say they are medium in height, their skin is not white. But a golden brown color, their hair isn't, it aren't shiny, but they are bald. They have an unusual cranial shape. You know that unusual cranial shape comes from Africa. They would call it dope little cephalic. With that big head, that big head scientist, and you hold check with that big head, and you go to Ethiopia, they got that big head. They say that's an unusual cranial shape. They are different looking, but they are not ugly. They project such a loving nature. We find it very irresistible. Can you see their hands? Uh, are they different? And she's saying, but she says that. Yes, they are a bit different. Their fingers are thin and trapped um, in a cone shell or whatever. It doesn't look like they have hair follicles and extra things on their body. Well, you know, we don't have the hair thing on our body. That's the He's got all that hair because he's an ape man because he trapped that ape energy out of this human artificial when we was mutating and grabbing that beast by certain levels of the year in the system and certain times when we had sex, we brought down energy that was that was uh, that tapped into an animal realm and it was that ape. We get, I got that on my human artificial when she gave you tape. There are people from the solar serious solar system or the serious star system. But right here they're saying they got a dark brown skin and this whole thing and this one, she, she, she gives you some type of thing, but Devil Clay already told you how they look. Well, I saw one, and I know he's from serious, it was a black man, his eyes were sucking through his head, but when I turned around, I knew that he was a brother, but he just didn't look, he looked like one of our cousins. Mm -hmm. But, it, you know, he probably an offshoot brother, but he looked like one of our cousins, but he looked like something like, like, like an Egyptian or whatever, or Ethiopian. In this famous metaphysical bookstore. So I got this. So this was this was this was not AWA. This was this other person. So I got this to do. I said, I'm gonna get over here and talk to this person. The white boy introduced me to it. He said, yeah, So I got this to do. So I'm talking to him when he come out. I'm gonna jump talking to him. But what happened was the white boy came up and started talking to me. And I was waiting for him to was at the front door. And I looked, he was going out of the store. And he couldn't, there wasn't no back door, so how the hell did he disappear out of the store? And all of a sudden, right after that, about two weeks later, I met this particular AWAS that is standing 
with us right now, and we got the juice. Now, the thing you got to do, this is what you got to do. Now, I'll take it like it is because I love you, but this is the thing that has got to be done. I said, well, I'm not going to say this today. I said, I don't want to offend nobody. I said, but I got to tell them. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You want to get on the ship, you got to tell you what you got to do. Stop. Number one, they say that, and this is what Thunderdog said, who is that farm of AWAS in the whole nine yards. They say, number one, you take the person that you take, everybody that you love, and send them a boat of light. You see. You send them a boat of light. And you say, this light is to prosper you to all divine perfection, something like that. That's close to it. So I prosper you in all divine protection. You take everybody you love, but you take, you got to make amends with every black man and woman that done got on your rough side and you hate them. <laughs> God knows we got some of them that got on our rough side. So now, you take them and you send them this boat of light. And you say that, what did I say? What did I say? I say, what did I say? I prosper you in all divine protect, perfection. Do that. That's it. I prosper you in all divine perfection. And you send everybody you know in your family and you know that boat to life. And hit him in the head. It's like it hit the brother in the head. Booyah. Boat to the head. You send them that boat to light. Even every brother that you hate and despise, you got to make amends. Because remember now, we're not in our rightful mind. So anything that we do on this earth, plane, even in selling out, we're not in our rightful mind. And, and so, number two, anytime somebody makes you mad, that person is your master. That's your master. Because he controls your emotion. That's that getting off that gale level. You know that's your master. Now, what you do is, anytime something or anything that you get mad or in anger that is shutting you down, you say, move on or move on by. I believe only in God who is divine protection in all which is manifested. No, no, excuse me. Move on. I believe only in God, who is divine perfection in everywhere manifested. Do that. Okay? Number one, they don't want you to pray no more. Now I know that's about I know some of the Muslims are holding on y'all, but I'm telling you what they're gonna say. If you now you that's contradiction now, come on, Nation of Islam, if you the God of the universe, what the hell are you doing praying? What they're trying to tell you is this. They're trying to tell you this. That you got to start taking responsibility for who you are. And they got they get tired of you coming to them praying to them. They saying, look for nobody outside of yourself. How you get to the creator is through yourself. Not go up, go out and go up. You go in and go up. Because your telephone line is through him. So they say, look nowhere but inside yourself to the higher you, which is already God. So pray to yourself. They say, and how you do that? They say, most people prayers don't even get to, don't even have to say, most people prayers don't even get to see them, let alone get to help. <laughs> they don't even get to see them, let alone get to help. When you pray, you are talking to God. When you meditate, you have receiving answers from God. So no more prayer. You say, be and the end. You're the God, and you can win it into existence. And when you fix your mind that way, you ain't got to worry about no more money or none of your stuff. It's going to get tough, but the crack is going to let all that go. Plus, we're going to let all that go, too. Because when we take, take out this civilization, the stuff that is, is, is comfortable, we're going to have to learn to live without. So you say, be and it is, and I will it into existence. And that's it. And don't worry about it. See, you, you're talking about having faith. You pray and that, and you still worry about it. That means you don't believe in the divine manifestation of God. And you don't believe in yourself. Who is God? Because to know yourself is to know God. 
Believe in self and to believe in self is to believe in God. And you don't believe in none of that. If you still worry about it, don't worry about it. Say, I'll be at it and put it out your mind. You got them bills, you say, I can't do nothing about it. I'm going to be broke anyway. <laughs> I can't do nothing about it. My credit already bad. Everybody credit bad. Right. You ain't going to never get on top of the money situation. Right. You always do bills. Right. Don't worry about it. Right. This ain't the end it is. But if you believe in the high source, the cracker can't bother you. Now you're not even with money. Don't worry about it. They already told us. They already granted us. They told us the sister to take. They say, when you go off this Indian mountain, don't you worry about it. Don't gonna die. Because the worry about that is to put your thing over to a white guy because he's on that front of that dollar bill. Right. But he's going to be happy. He's going to help you because he's going to take it off the dollar bill because you all know about the middle strip in the dollar bill. Yes. I don't need to pull them out no more twenties to show you. They're in the twenties and you can pull them out. And they can drive real high and tell you how much money you got. And when they take that money off the market in about another month or so, if you got it on you, you going to jail. Mm. Now they tell you all this counterfeit junk. They didn't counterfeit since days of old. <laughs> but all of a sudden they didn't counterfeit. But yet Bill Clinton is talking about a national health care system which ain't nothing but the debit card. And in the debit card you told us say you either in the system or out of the system. So you can't talk no more junk if you got the card. They say, okay, we just tap on a button to take you off the computer. Now what you gonna do? So that's a total slavery. You understand what I'm saying? So this is what time is. But just be what it is and say, don't worry about those things no more. Get off this material level. It don't mean nothing. It don't exist. It don't exist. Uh, it don't exist, which reminds me, i got to show you this one other little thing. But it don't exist. The material level don't exist. Um, but get off that material level. Um, now, it says that in the Syrian magic, the Dogons tell us that the dwellers of the Syrian star system had to overcome their particular form of sex. Since the Osiris drama is manifested in the solar system, Earth in particular is now forced with the same battle of the Syrian um, cousins that won, that, and won in other times. When they say that what we're going through was already fought and won in another war in space a long time ago. So you think, and so what happened is because this is going into a lower dimension, those, tra those thoughts travel into space and they get caught into this particular dimension and they manifest physically. And so all this is is a big hologram. Mm -hmm. It's like a big right. it's a movie that's being put out. That. Remember, we already won the war. So the war was for in, 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 in space about 10 million years ago with serious, serious and Orion. And we won that war. It just reoccurring again now, instant replay. So this is all an illusion. They say when you raise the Kundalini and the chakras and get to your higher self, the illusionary world disappears and the real world begins. You have been caught in the thinking, trapped in the thinking that this physical body is the real you. Right. The real you is on the inside. This is only a role that you play. And when you get through with this role in this school, you got to go to another role. If you don't pass this role and go to another level. Check? Check. All right. These are some things you got to do. Now. The thing you gotta do is, and I ain't telling you, to wean yourself off of it. Mm. Get off. Get off. Me. Get, off. Get off of it. I'm telling you this. Ain't no, we're gonna cut down. The only way you do things is cold turkey. That's, right. That's it. That's right. You gotta get off all meat. All of it. No chicken, no fish, no beef, none of that. No pork, none of that. You gotta get off of it. Not so much a health reason, because you already know health is you, you don't supposed to eat it. With all the hormones that they can grow a chicken in three weeks. They can grow a cow in nine months. A whole cow. You gotta get off it. Now I know that's kind of awful. Some of you getting scared and I said, I don't know how to get off the meat. But this dead animal vibrations. Now look, I'm look, I'm trying to show you something. If you're gonna be real for your own revelation, your own liberation, don't say what the heck you can't do. You do it. Cold turkey. You already got a built-in mechanism. Right now you get mad at the black person, you say, mess with that nigga no more. And you don't mess with him no more. And you don't mess with 15 years, you ain't mess with him no more. You already got the call, you just got it on the wrong end. <laughs> you do the same thing with chicken. I ain't messing with it no more. He's like, I ain't messing with it no more. You do the same thing. Every time you get mad, I ain't messing with it no more. You don't mess with it no more. You already got it built into you. 
It's just functioning on the wrong level. See what I'm saying? You already got it. You do the same thing, but you be tired. That's what it don't work. <laughs> That's what you got to do. You got to get off the meat, so diet is key. You got to get off all the You got to get off all the dairy products, because that counts a lot of the pineal gland. Cheese, that's just like eating a cow. All that got to go. I love some cheese. <laughs> that's the hardest thing to get off of. When you become a vegetarian, the cheese become your meat. Yep. Yeah. I can eat the bed and I have to fly some cheese up in it. <laughs> you see? But you got to get off the cheese too. Because guess what? They tell you glue is made from a heart. Uh -huh. Glue is made from milk. That's why they got that cow on that board, on, on, on that glue. They almost glue. Made from milk. And that's the kind of stuff going in your body. That cheese. You see what I'm saying? You got to get off all dairy products because they give you that mucus. And the mucus is what kills you. You got to demucus yourself. All animal vibrations spiritually because you can't rise spiritually with dead animal vibrations in you. That's a dead animal. That's something that died on the earth, man. You got it in your body. Think about it. You see what I'm saying? You ain't, you just, the blood, you hooked on blood. Try getting off the crack, try getting off beef. It's the blood. That's what tastes good. You see what I'm saying? And let it sit up too long. The blood will rise and be a red clump of blood. Have you ever seen this? It's blood. You got to get off the animal thing. Huh? You saying it's hard, but the white man tells you right now, I need you to be on that job tomorrow morning. <laughs> I need you to move from dog on New York to Dallas, and I need you in a blue suit. And I want you to change your voice. You'll do it in a yeah. man. But yet when it comes to saying your own body, I don't know about those things. When it's saying to do things and give yourself to your God, you can't do it. So ain't no excuse. I used to say, you know, you could go there. No, uh-uh, cut it out. This is what they're saying, cold turkey. They're tired of cleaning around. We could have been off this thing 50 years ago. They waiting on us. That's right. We're the ones that's messed up. They waiting on us. You see. Now you can extend this white man and get a few more years, enough years to kill you based on you being lazy. And you don't need the masses of the people. The masses ain't never did nothing but die. The masses ain't never ran nothing. They're a popular culture where feels good, taste good, smell good, sound good, look good. That's the animal level. That's almost an instinct in our animal senses. That ain't nothing spiritual whatsoever. We in the animal box. That's what the masses do. They follow the popular trends and the culture. It's the nucleus that runs the society. The white man got that from us, from us in the mission system. He running it on us. Whole world around a small clique. Yeah. So your liberation is a small clique. It don't have to be the masses. The masses ain't going to do nothing. The minister found kind of tight. 50,000 people up in there. And them people listen to him. Get on the high. Right back out of the street and that's a damn fool. And he only get the nucleus to bear witness of what he's saying. So it's only the nucleus on it again. The reason why the black liberation people went crazy in the 60s, start marrying white women and start doing all kinds of crazy stuff, is because they thought they could get the masses. And you weigh yourself thin, that's too much. You don't build from the outside in, you build from the inside out. If you take the nucleus, because the small point is what's operating you, that's the soul of the black dot. You build from the nucleus, and when you make that radiation shine, then your popular culture, they see it shine and they go into it. So you draw them from the outside in. You know, from the, you draw them from the outside in. You don't go and try to make it so that you're trying to liberate the masses. You weigh yourself in like that. Don't worry about them. You see what I'm saying? Don't worry about that. Even if you believe in the Bible, they talk about one man coming back, that's all they give you. The Bible don't say a whole man. They say, well, two or more gathered in my name. That's right. You see what I'm saying? So we talking about the nucleus. So don't worry about the masses. Every time you get up here and worry about what this Christ is doing every day, as far as how much he is doing this and how much black people in racism is taking time off the job you need to do. And believe me, he got enough of that to keep you here worrying about that till the year 2000 and 4000. 2,952 billion years. He'll just keep creating. And you stand here worrying about this physical level and all this stuff, and you're supposed to be doing work to take him off the planet. Okay? So, number one, diet. Number two, meditation. Don't worry about it. Just sit down and close your eyes. Let go and let God. 
We ten breaths in this in this nose, let it out. Ten in this nose, do nine, nine completions. Nine in this nose, nine in this nose. Feel the brain up. Breathe in the nose like this. Hold it, let it out. Do that about nine times, and you close your eyes and see what happens. And just sit quiet. Use some meditation music or whatever, but got to meditate because they want to start communicating with us. And the woman that she do it, she can get it just like that. I meditate a whole year. I got all the feelings. I meditate a whole year. I got all the feelings. One super came over the first time because I want to meditate. She got on the ground and I had this big old picture of this temple of, of Karnak and they got this pool in this, on the side of the temple of Karnak that they built in Washington D.C. that pool of water in the Washington Monument. But it came from Egypt in the temple of Karnak, a kibbit. And they got the pool there. I want the picture wall. She said, I want to go there. Come on, just close your eyes and start. I close eyes. Fifteen minutes later, she in there crying. I said, what, what's wrong with you? I said, oh, Lord, why they always give me these fools? <laughs> they always get me crazy. <laughs> she just crying. Come to find out, I've been meditating the whole year. She sat down for the first time. Come to find out, she done went and left her body, went into the picture, got into the pool, and was swimming around in the pool, and it was a temple to of after that hippopotamus goddess. It was her temple, and she came out and told her, you're not ready, you got to go back. When I woke up, 15 minutes, now this 15 minutes, I woke up, she in there crying because she was mad because she wanted to stay in the God sent her back. And I said, I'll be there, I've been meditating a whole year, and she done left me down there. She eat you know, The women who hook up, they can hit this stuff like it ain't nuts. But they already told us to rejoice because the stuff is here. You just got to stay on the frequency. Now this is the other key. This is what's going to hurt. <coughs> that morning when we got back, the, two, the sister went on the mothership, one of the sisters went on the mothership, and the brother, Bob my went on the mothership. They both saw Honorable Lies Muhammad. Then there's other mothership, because one brother, Bride's <coughs> mothership, he got a mothership and he's sitting on it. One, and his wife went on and said, I went on another mothership and I saw my husband on it. And he said, she, he, he holds the door and he's the driver of that mothership. Mm -hmm. And stuff, right? Okay. Now, they came back down and then the other brother, the one that they hit the boat to lightning in his head, he said he was concerned. He said, because the visions he was seeing, he didn't see no women in it. And he saw guys going further than the women. And he was concerned. Then he, he and so what happened was the next night, next morning they gave him the number four and five, which is nine completion. And they said one will lead to decode it. Went around and nobody decoded it, and then it came to me. And it came to one other sister. And the, two of the spiritual sisters, I decoded it and I talked to them and they said, you were right. They said the same thing came to them too on what happened. And I'm going to tell you what the decoding was for the woman. How she can get on the mothership. And this is the key. This is going to hurt some people. This is what the deal is. Number one, the reason why you are not going further is because, one thing, we can wear European clothes or we can wear African clothes. But when the man is at his most humble state, is when he take off his coat and he naked to the world and he can't put on that facade no more out here in macho world. So that's when you are at your total being, when you in your spiritual abode, in your night clothes, and when you naked or whatever. You you helpless. That's why somebody opened the door and you go crazy. Get out of here! <laughs> now, this is what the deal is. Now, when we take all of this, we should have all the European stuff when we ever come again. Oh, we the original people again. This is the reason why the sisters ain't doing it. When the brother take all this stuff, because the brother lives in what is a patriarchal society, he's not obligated based on a patriarchal and a sect of society to do things that the sister got to do just to be in competition because her man sees the white woman as the paradigm and she has to do things to look like the white woman to be accepted by her black man. So therefore, she has to go through another configuration to be accepted by her black man because he likes a particular thing about her. So when she gets naked, she's not totally undressed because she's not in a pure African state because her 
original hair is got a relaxer in it. <laughs> and it's not the original. This is not nothing to be ashamed about because we all two days in the conscious and we all got pathology. <laughs> now, if your hair come out the scalp that way, that's the original way God gave it to you. But if your hair don't come out the scalp like that, and it looks like the white woman hair, you got to take it out. For your sake, and you got to take it out to teach your man that he's going to have you natural, and he ain't going to have you no other way. So, Yeah. 